Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. So in today's video is a press release from the Bureau of Immigration. Details coming right up. So this press release has been part of the amended travel advisory posted by the Bureau of Immigration several days ago. That the Bureau of Immigration just wanted to reiterate on a specific category that you will be denied entry into the Philippines if the following requirements is not achieved. This is for the foreign parent or parents, foreign spouses and foreign children of Filipino national who are traveling to the Philippines alone. The Bureau of Immigration wanted to reiterate that foreign parent or parents, foreign spouses, and foreign children must be traveling with the Filipino national to the Philippines, enabled to be allowed entry into the Philippines, plus they have to have a valid visa upon entry. You guys cannot travel all by yourself because you will be denied entry even if you have a valid visa, without the Filipino national traveling with you, you are denied. So here's the statement from the Bureau of Immigration from this press release. Aliens not traveling with Filipino kin can't enter Philippines during travel ban by the Bureau of Immigration. The Bureau of Immigration reiterated that foreign parents, spouses, and children of Filipino citizens cannot enter the Philippines if they are not traveling with the latter. In a statement, Bureau of Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morente reiterated that set existing guidelines on international travel set by the IATF do not allow the entry of foreign parents, spouses, and children of Filipinos if they are traveling alone. The said foreigners, Morente reminded, should likewise possess valid visas secured in the country's foreign post abroad to be able to enter the country. The reminder was issued following reports that a handful of aliens were denied entry at the airports for attempting to come to the country without their Filipino spouse, children, or parent. Morente stressed that airlines and ships are obligated to ensure that only foreigners eligible to enter the country during the implementation of the travel restrictions are allowed to board their Philippine-bound flights. It can be recalled that the Philippines reimposed a ban on the entry of foreigners last month amid the resurgence in the number of COVID-19 cases in the country. The ban, which started last March 22, is in effect until April 21. Aside from prohibiting the entry of foreigners, the IATF also ordered a reduction in the number of inbound international travelers to only 1,500 a day. So if you guys missed the current amended travel advisory by the Bureau of Immigration, I will leave the link in the description box for your reference. But currently, the travel restrictions, especially to foreign parents, spouses, and children of a Filipino national, you must be traveling with the Filipino national with a valid visa upon entry into the Philippines to be allowed entry into the country. Because even though you have a valid visa, but you are traveling alone, you will be denied entry into the country. I know there's a confusion on this new implementation of the travel restriction because before, if you are married to a Filipino national or you are a child of a Filipino national or you are a parent of a Filipino national with a valid visa, you can travel to the Philippines alone. But with the current travel restriction that started last March 22 and will last until April 21, you cannot travel to the Philippines alone. You must be traveling with a Filipino national to be allowed entry into the Philippines plus with valid visa upon entry. 
So please be guided of this travel advisory from the Bureau of Immigration. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the current travel restrictions by the Bureau of Immigration to the Philippines because what if your wife or your kids or your parents are already in the Philippines and you are abroad and wanted to go home to the Philippines. Unfortunately, that is the imposed travel restriction at the moment that will last until April 21 and hopefully after April 21, they will lift it or at least they would reconsider especially the immediate family of a Filipino national just traveling alone as long as they have a valid visa upon entry in the Philippines. Fingers crossed on that. But I will definitely keep you guys updated if there's any changes on the travel advisory to the Philippines by the Bureau of Immigration as per IATF guidelines. So if you are a family going to the Philippines this time during the travel restriction, for example, you are a foreigner married to a Filipino national, you want to go home to the Philippines with your wife and your kids, you can, but you have to secure a valid visa to be allowed entry into the Philippines Plus, you need to be traveling with your Filipino wife. This also applies to your children. If your children are U.S. passport holders or foreign passport holders, before they are allowed entry into the Philippines, they have to have a valid visa plus traveling with the Filipino parent. So I hope we are clear on this category that the Bureau of Immigration wanted to reiterate that you will be denied entry if you do not follow this travel restrictions to the Philippines that will last until April 21 of 2021. So I will keep you guys posted if there is new announcement or changes in our travel advisory to the Philippines by the Bureau of Immigration or the Philippine government or per IATF guidelines. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We do travel updates and if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers and new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel, Dayton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye. All right.